right, guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to do cell counts using the hemocytometer and we're going to look at body fluids today. We've got two um, specimens at your table. One is kind of colorless and clear. It's kind of hard to see through the plastic tubes, but um, down at the bottom you can see a cell button. Okay, so the colorless and clear one is going to have probably a lot of white cells in it. Very little red cells. The other one is kind of red and hazy. Okay? So this one's going to have red cells in it and maybe a few white cells in it. Okay? So when you count them on the hemocytometer, you're going to use the same universal formula, but this time you need to distinguish between the white cells and the red cells. Okay? So since we don't want to lyse our red cells, you're not going to be using acetic acid or the Lupertec. You're going to be plating it straight. So you won't have a dilution factor. So with this one, with all of the red cells, you might want to consider using the smaller uh, squares, the red cell squares in the center portion, and multiplying by 250 instead of the larger cells in 10. I haven't looked at these, so I'm not sure what they look like. So when you get one plated, holler at me, and um, we'll go from there. I'll erase the board, and we can write down our values up there, what we get on them, so we know how we're doing. We'll do that today. So we're going to do counts on those, and if you look at your paper, on body fluids, convention tells us that we're going to use whole numbers, so no decimals, no scientific notation or exponents just whole numbers versus the whole blood that we did on Tuesday where we put it in scientific notation because that's what we're used to. So on the front, you'll put the specimen number, patient name, specimen type, which is pleural fluid today, and then you're going to do what's called a total nucleated cell count. So in other words, we're going to count all of the nucleated cells, and then we're going to count all of the red cells. The reason we say nucleated cells instead of white cells is because in many body fluids we'll see cells that aren't white cells, like mesothelial cells, which are the lining cells of the body cavity, or tumor cells, or stuff like that. So anything with a nucleus, we're going we're gonna to count separately and call it total nucleated cell count. So, all right? Okay. Also today, I want you to um, look at three of the body fluids from our book here. We've got a variety, and some are really cool. Some have, there's one that has brain tissue in it. There's one that has uh, erythrophagocytosis, uh, which is a macrophage eating a red cell. There's one with uh, bacteria in it um, from a bacterial meningitis. So look at three of those today. You don't have to do a diff on them but I want you to you know, kind of get a feel for what you're looking at. And with a body fluid, the um, slides or the, the specimen that you're going to be doing your differential on is different than a blood smear. And if I can get this out of here, you can see that we have like a little concentrated cell button in that circle there, okay? Because normally, body fluid cell counts are very low. So if we just made a, a regular blood smear, we'd have to probably make like 40 in order to get 100 cells. So we have this neat little device called a cytospin, okay, that will concentrate your cell button for you. And this is just a low-speed centrifuge. And this is probably one of the oldest cytospins out there on the market. Okay. But what it does is you take a little funnel-like apparatus and you take a filter paper and you put it up against there and then you butt it up against a slide like that. Slide will be labeled. And then you fit it in the cytospin. And it's going to be balanced, so we're going to set up two. Okay, 
So there's always two sided spin preps made for each body fluid. And what we do is we just put drops of the body fluid specimen into the funnel. Okay? Then we close the lid and it's going to spin for five minutes at low speed. And what that does is the filter paper whisks away the fluid and just leaves the cells on that center portion of the slide. And even if you have a very, very low count, like spinal fluids, we're going to know that we're going to learn that the white count normally on spinal fluids in a healthy individual is 0 to 5. Okay. But you can do a 100 cell differential if you do a cytosine. Look at three of those today. Um, this just clips down in. You don't have to do a cytospin prep on your fluids today, just the hemocytometer. Okay. So I but look at three fluids and we'll go from there. And then I just wanted to do a little brief demo. Kind of to show you. It doesn't take much blood to make it look like there's a lot of blood. So I've got a tube of deionized water and I've got a tube of saline. So what I'm going to do is just put a drop of blood drop of blood and I should have had some paraffin. I think I'll re-record this. And see how that's just one drop of blood okay. and it kind of makes it ready, uh, red and hazy. What do you think will happen if I add a drop of blood to deionized water? No lice. No lice. 